know that next year will be Manchester United had generous signing in their hands until current star forced Tin Hag to change his mind. Manchester United were ready to make a generous splash for a Croatia international doubt peel the plug after a current star's remarkable resurgence forced Eric Ten Hag into a rethink for a trusted search. The Reddit files oversaw a maddest winter window especially when compared to their top four rifles. Newcastle splashed out £40 million to sign Anthony Gordon, while Liverpool completed their business early when landing Cody Gakpo. Chelsea blew the league away when forking out a massive £291 million. The headline attractions were Michael Madrid and Enzo Fernandez, whose £106.8 million matched the British transfer record. In contrast, United were contained the sanctions a three of loan moves for Jack Goodland, World Records and Marcel Savitzer. Letters move only arose after Christian Eriksen was thrown out for around three months with an ankle injury. However, according to Fabrizio Romano, a permanent signing right back was in Manchester United's sides. The build up to the winter window saw plenty of speculations swirl all over the future of Aaron Lamisaka. The former Crystal Palace star is widely believed to be a poor fit for Ten Hag's system. The Dutchman wants full back, who are skewed going for what they say are at the fending, unfortunately, for Juan Bissaka. The attacking side of the game has never been his fault. That resulted in Diego Dalla quickly stopped losing himself as Ten Hag's number one in the position. However, the Portuguese has missed nine of United's 12 matches post World Cup through injury. His substance provided Ron Bissaka with a timely opportunity to, to prove his worth, and the 25 years old has not disappointed. United have kept six clean sets in the 10 match Ron Bissaka has started since domestic football returned. Of those 10 fixtures, the record fans have won 8, thrown 1, and lost this once. It's been a remarkable surgeons from Ron Bissaka, and as a direct result, Roman reported and Hag simultaneously updated to retain the right back and pulled the plug on their pursuit of Celtic Joseph Chernoffy. The 27 year old Karasi International was a man in demand throughout January. Romano suggested the move to Old Trafford was close, but Jurnovic ultimately went on to join German side Union Berlin for £10 million, including an ounce, once the deal was healthy. If Jurnovic had joined the United, Romano stressed he'd have replaced it when Bissaka is still at Spagal. Manchester United in November and December were looking for a new right back, say Romano via his YouTube channel. Juan Bissaka was expected to leave and a new right back to come after Juan Bissaka had a very difficult first part of the season. But he did very well in January and Manchester United decided to stay with him and instead invest money on Woodwick Hooks and Marcel Sabitzer. But we have to add one thing. They had a right back in their hands ready to be signed in case when Juan Bissaka was going to leave. That player was Sassip Chernoffy. Russian right back playing now for Union Berlin, but he was at Celtic at the time. It just turned out it had Chernoffy top of the list as back up right back to Diego Dalot. Dalot is, of course, the owner of the right wing at Manchester United. Chernoffy was a serious option. The Manchester United board excused him his name. He was a concrete option, but after waiting and waiting and waiting, Manchester United decided to keep on Bissaka after doing very well in January. And so the Juranovic deal collapsed and he decided to accept the bid of Union Berlin. <laughs> 